Welcome to the hot and spicy. How are you doing? All right. I'll give this uh, glass a bit of a run out today. Matches the shirt. Oh, ice cold. You know the score. Okay, so experimentation cooking is like science is it not yeah it's all about figures and heat and all that type of stuff anyway I've been trying to make my own well I haven't been trying I have made my own uh, chicken uh, strips chicken tenders chicken whatever you want to call them and there they are now Two chicken breasts, and I just uh, cut them into strips, just small strips. And I put some flour in a bowl, not measured, just plop some flour, you know, about as much as I need. Some um, hot cayenne pepper. Some uh, what else did I put in? Some hot chili powder. I put some bone sucking. <laughs> sauce powder it's meant to coat ribs um what else have i put in oh, a bit of paprika and salt and pepper and that's and then mix that dry mix so put the chicken pieces in buttermilk just dip them in i left them there for about two hours then rolled them around in the flour mix and then at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 170, somewhere around there, uh, centigrade, the oil, put them in. About 10 minutes. And that's the result. Has it worked? Oh, yeah. Oh, and then I salted them on top after when they're ready. Wow, that coating, and the thing is, a thin but crisp coating, and a lovely cooked chicken. So it's not clumpy. Mm. And then, in here, there's some Tesco's have brought out a a Memphis sauce marinade sauce dipping sauce and it's lovely their American type of sauce is a nice so to that I added I bought a jar you know that in the flower show video I met um, the Gorch chili um, what's he called I forgot the name of it now I had a chat with a lady selling chili sauces jams pits, that sort of stuff and she was selling her hottest one, which is the Naga, I think it is, chilli sauce. And I bought a little jar, and they were £2 each. I had mine for one fifty. <laughs> and he does. So what I've done is put um, the Memphis sauce, which is a nice sort of rich barbecue sauce type thing. And I put two teaspoons of that Naga chilli sauce and mixed it. So we're going to try it. Barbecue, lovely, rich, mm, smoky, and there it is. There's the bite coming in. Absolutely amazing, and then. I called in the co-op, which is a supermarket over here. Wandering along the aisles there, as you do. <whistles> All of a sudden, I've seen the words sunblushed. Sunblushed flatbread. So, we're going to be uh, trying that. Thank you.
Mmm, nice. Mmm. Not quite Tesco. But damn near it. Soft in the middle. Anyway, enough of that. How are you doing? Way up to the weekend then. Anything or nothing. Um, I've had a busy week. I met um, one of my viewers from America. Todd. He's from Kansas, USA. Watches me on both channels, fair play to him. And um, he was coming over to the UK and he wanted to stay locally. So he asked, where can I stay? So I said, um, I suggested Castle House by the Denby Castle. And other people there. And um, he loved it. He liked it there. Thankfully, um, and they looked after him, and he wandered around. He's. I took him for a walk. Mm, lovely sauce on this. Took him to the mental. Took him up to the castle, and it was that warm. We went in and bought a bottle of water, ice cold water. Um. We went past the mental. Down the alley, um, and then back, sort of into the Gwynyai, and just all the sort of places I've shown in videos. And the, we had a good chat, and we swapped some um, shaving products. He had some very rare stuff, and I really appreciate that. So thank you, Todd, for your kindness, and it was lovely to meet you. Nice chap. Served in the U.S. Navy. So, uh, nice gent. And then he was going up to uh, to see his son in Scotland. So, he'd be up there now, I suppose. He's on his, on his way. You know, he should be there by now. In, uh, in Bonnish, Scotland. <laughs> uh, so, um, oh. that was that. Um, I'm having something made for my shaving, uh, something personal, um, very personal actually, I don't mean personal as I can't tell you, <laughs> a design of something and I've got to choose the, well the shape, the colour and all that type of stuff, so it'll be nice. Do you want one of these or what? Help yourself. Listen to that. Crisp. But they're light and crisp. Uh, you know, thin. Mmm, that coating is beautiful. Simple, try it. There's enough moisture uh, in the buttermilk to you know to cling to the um, mm. beautiful I've got a deep fried chicken video on this channel how I made the it's similar to that I did some chicken thighs similar way sort of KFC ish Beautiful sauce. I love their Texas one. Of course, it goes well. What do they do? No, yeah, it's going well. This will stop it. Ooh, yeah. um, but this is a similar. There's a sort of a. Some of them have got a sweetness, smokiness, and a sort of vinegary all mixed in, and I love it. Um, but to that I've added the heat of this Naga chilli sauce, you see. Absolutely stunning. 
tomorrow's dinner. See, chicken's lovely. So thin that. That's due to the heat. Coat him. And then the heat. Anyway, dinner tomorrow. Lamb chops. Um, uh, what else have we got? I got some. I'm going to mash some potatoes and swede, turnip, whatever. Um, I'll steam them first and then mash them together. Butter, black pepper. I've been kindly given some uh, green French beans by a chap I deliver to. So I'm going to have them. I'm going to have some sprouts and lashentos of gravy. And the gravy will look similar to that actually. So um, that's for dinner tomorrow. Now I've done clips of the week, a few clips again. However, again, there might be another video coming up tomorrow. A different thing. Um, I'm not sure yet. But it could be. It'll be of interest, hopefully. Uh, but I will eventually put these clips of the week up. But like I said, I may not do them every week. But I'll build them up. Now I must apologise in advance without realising when you're filming clips of a day you might do two or three clips today and one or two tomorrow um, I was looking through them earlier on and there seems to be a lot of cooking stuff I'm not, they're not cooking videos they're just showing me preparing cooking things and it was just part of my day and I thought a lot of people seem to like that type of stuff and it'll only be quick sort of clips, you know, showing stages of a meal with some music or something like that. But um, just to warn you, in case you think, the hell he, that's all he does is eat. It is filmed over the week, it's not one meal after the other. That's lovely, wow. These are not blow your head off, but the spice in the coating, like the chilli powder, the cayenne pepper, it's a hot cayenne pepper, like a chilli cayenne pepper it was, I think. Um, what else did I put in there? Oh, some onion powder in there, some garlic powder in there, because I wanted a dry mix. Salt and pepper. So it's simple, but it's uh, absolutely delicious. Pity you weren't still here, Todd. You'd have devoured these. That's another thing I took him for a bit of fun, really. He's never <laughs> tried it. <laughs> he may have tried it now and thinking, bloody awful stuff. Because I do appreciate our lager beer. It was, um, I think there's a slight difference to the ones in the States, maybe. This is quite refreshing, Karen, if you've got a thirst on. Um, what else has happened this week? Wow, I can't get over this. Experimentation, see? I highly advise it. Play about. I paid under two pounds for the chicken and I had all the other stuff in the cupboard. Homemade. If I'd have bought these ready, it cost me about four pounds, five maybe, for that amount. So, um, under two pound and I got myself a good meal I won't eat all them tonight 
too many but it'll keep yeah. so that's what they are just strips of chicken that thick and uh, oh it's a lovely kick to this sauce now mm. see how thin that coating is hopefully That's, a, that's the secret to it. Sometimes you'll do it and it, the, like the coating's too thick. Mm. Well, oh yeah, so I've told you about the videos. Um, many thanks for all your support again, for watching. Um, <coughs> again, can't get over some of the views I get on these videos <laughs> because um, the North Wales Hospital, the mental one I did, I was a lot, a lot of people like that. That's much appreciated. Um, and I hopefully it wasn't too long, it wasn't too boring, but it, it gave a good insight into the history. You know, in a good manner, if you like. Uh, nothing, as I said in the video, I, I could have been there for two hours making it if you wanted it detailed. And, but you know, you can you can make these videos as long as short as whatever you want. But um, that was the best way I thought of doing that. Um, I'm trying to share everything, information. Um, what else was there? The Denby show that was well. And the reason I filmed these things. Um, things like that local events is because yeah for people to enjoy it um, there may be some people that live in Denby disabled too old to go out can't get there but they still they get to see what the show is like you know and but it's like an archive as well because I filmed a show called the Gwynanog show just outside Denby little country show similar thing but they had they have a ring in the middle and then at a certain time all the cars that were on display they'd drive around the ring a couple of times and then they'd go out and then all the motorbikes would come in and drive around the ring and I filmed it, it wasn't um, it was a few years ago and that show I filmed was the last one they'd had they did there so I'm glad I'd done it and a chap who was riding the motorbike in the ring oh he said I'm glad you filmed this he said that's me on the motorbike <laughs> with a leather jacket or something and he said, uh, fantastic, because nobody films easy. So even if you get silly looks, people go up at you. And they see you with a camera. And, I mean, you know, that um, doesn't bother me now. It bothers some people to, and they won't film. But you should just think of that. And it's things, even for your children, for your grandchildren. Which... Um, you know, it's good. God, I talk for a minute. I'm sorry. And it's not the beer talking because I haven't had enough yet. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Thanks for watching. And um, have a great weekend. Whatever you do, stay safe. Uh, and I'll see you most likely tomorrow with this other video or Clips of the Week video. So um, I may even put the Clips of the Week up at the start of next week i don't know we'll see but you'll, you'll probably see a video tomorrow anyway so many thanks have a great weekend and if you're gonna have anything to eat spice it up baby ta -da.